But after those four facets, he goes into the experience section. How do you craft your resume? How do you gain your own experience when you don't even have any so that you can leverage it into getting a position. What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, I am very excited to interview Christopher. Chris was able to get into digital marketing in a very short amount of time. He actually started trying to become a digital marketer when he was 16. Then he got a job where he was basically working at a fast food chain. And then he was able to get into digital marketing very quickly once he focused on it and actually tried to learn the skills and get a job. So he was able to secure a job as a digital marketer at a very young age. And I think this is going to be extremely helpful for anybody who's thinking about possibly skipping college. So you're definitely going to want to watch this one all the way to the end. I think it's going to help a lot of people out. And before we get into it, let's go ahead and gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And let's jump right into it. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be interviewing somebody who recently got their first job in digital marketing and I really appreciate them coming on the channel because they're going to share their story and how they got into it. So thank you so much, Chris, for coming on the channel today. Of course. Glad to be here. Awesome. So let's go ahead and start off at the beginning of the story. So basically we'll we'll start off like maybe just a little bit before you discovered even maybe even what digital marketing was. Can you kind of take me back uh, in time and uh, tell me what you were doing uh, professionally speaking, or, you know, if you want to give me any other details, feel free to as well, uh, before you discovered digital marketing. Yeah, so I believe I discovered digital marketing sometime when I was in either sophomore or junior year. I was reading a bunch of uh, self-help books, and um, I came across a couple of YouTube channels, uh, specifically one called Improvement Pill. And in that one, they were talking about some career in digital marketing where you don't have to go to college and that appealed to me because um i was going to a school that was pretty pretty heavy on the whole you should go to college uh kind of thing and so um i looked into it more and i decided well you know uh i'm not gonna do this and then time passed and then i came back to it and um, it really appealed to me because, well, first of all, I, I did not like writing essays, but most of all, I didn't really want to be a lawyer, which is what the school was pushing me to do. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And so this seemed like um, a career that could make me choose the path I wanted to go down. And so uh, time passed, and I believe in the summer of junior year for me i actually bought and took the course and tried to follow as many of the steps as possible um and then i got to a part where because of my mindset at the time i didn't want to follow all of the steps i wanted to uh, take shortcuts uh you could probably see where this is going but because i wanted to take shortcuts and at the time the course was on uh, i i believe um a monthly uh, pay subscription, um, I just got out of the course. But still, the idea of digital marketing was still on my mind. So time passed. And even though I wasn't in the course, I still wanted to pursue that path. But I didn't want to follow the steps. So I took other digital marketing courses, my very first mistake. Um, and I'll I get right to the meat of it. Uh, they don't even slightly compare to Seth's course. Like Seth, he gives all the information you need to really buckle yourself up and just get, get experience and get the job. But these other courses, it seems like they, they promise something and then there are so many holes that aren't filled. And it's kind of confusing to... Um, figure out what to do next and actually land a job because he covers a lot like the resume and how to um, research things you don't know and pretty much fundamentals. Um, yeah. And so I also believe when I took the course again, after all that time passed, um, this time, the second time I took it, I bought it with my own money because I was working at Wendy's 
Um, and let me tell you, the way you get treated when you're in a, a digital marketing job and the way you get treated when you're at one of these customer service jobs, world of difference, let me tell you. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I saved up money from the Wendy's, bought it again. And this time um, I had the wherewithal and the determination to just follow all of the steps, even, even the ones I don't really want to. And unsurprisingly, this time within two months of joining the course again, I landed a job. The first time, and I kind of stuck with it for a month and then I came out and then in between, I got internships, but was kind of like not really following the course. This time, two months, got a job, it was amazing. Awesome. So uh, a lot to unpack there. I actually have a, a few kind of comments on that. Uh, one thing I wanted to say uh, was, yeah, a very common story of people kind of having like going through that experience of having kind of like kind of one of those jobs that's not the best thing. But, you know, the silver lining to that, because I've, I've done that, too. I've had like, you know, customer service type jobs. I think the silver lining to that is you understand what a bad job looks like. So when you actually have a good job, you appreciate it, right? So <laughs> that's kind of one of the, the good parts about having a bad job. Um, and I almost feel like everyone should have at least one bad job, even if it's just for a month, <laughs> so they kind of <laughs> appreciate having a good job, right? <laughs> but um, yeah. uh, another thing I wanted to ask really quickly is how old were you kind of during this uh, time frame that you're talking about? I believe, uh, if I'm not uh, misremembering, I believe when I first took the course, I was either 16 or 17. And then when I took it again, I believe I was 19. Got it. Okay. And when you said you were a junior, I actually thought you were a junior in college. I didn't oh, realize no, you were a junior school. in high school. That is amazing. So you actually started taking the course while you were still in high school that I mean that shows a lot of like you're very proactive that's that's really impressive yeah um I had a lot of things to learn but um it happened yeah got it okay so you discover the course um one thing I will say about the course is you know I haven't taken it myself because it you know it takes a while I might actually end up taking it because I just I'm genuinely interested in digital marketing um but it does have a very active Facebook group. And that's one thing I have bought a ton of courses over the years. And one thing I notice is a lot of the time their Facebook group is just dead or their, or their discord or whatever like that. But uh, the Facebook group is extremely active people posting every single day, people helping each other out, you know, et cetera. So I don't know if you experienced that back when you took it. Um, but can you maybe comment on that a little bit? Yeah, so for me personally, I didn't um, engage too much with the Facebook until after um, I got a position. Mostly, I there's like a, a forum section that's mentioned at the end of Seth's course, extremely helpful, by the way, um, where if you have any small questions about like your resume or uh, this specific step, um, either Seth or one of his alumni will help you with whatever you're doing. And um, specifically, I was working on um, a Google Sheet assignment for like a, a sample uh, PPC accounts spreadsheet. And I was doing my own sample SEO audit. And I remember um, Seth referred me to two alumni and the amount of like support and compassion these people have it was, all, was like almost shocking. Um, to experience like they're they're so helpful and understand what it's like to see this thing and it looks possible but it seems so far away but they achieved it and now they're helping you do it it's just um it's just great got it so um the whole experience of going through the course you kind of commented on that a little bit but um i know that seth did recently update the course as well which is awesome, by the way, um, you know, digital marketing is something that changes all the time. It's, you know, it's like a video game, the meta changes, as they say. Um, and so, you know, Seth updates the course as the as things change, which is awesome. And uh, could you kind of just maybe describe like, 
the contents of the course itself, just kind of a 30,000 foot overview of what that's like? Yeah, so when I first took the course, this section did not exist at all, but I, the second time I took the course, I found it very helpful. It's the mindset section where he goes over like how you should approach and think about this whole process of learning digital marketing. And then afterwards he goes over like all of the four main facets of digital marketing, PPC, SEO, email marketing. Um, and there's another part that I cannot remember magically. Um, paid ads, probably paid ads. Paid Social. PPC, SEO, email, yeah. Um, I lost my train of thought, but after those four facets, he goes into the experience section. How do you craft your resume? How do you gain your own experience when you don't even have any so that you can leverage it into getting a position? Um, and if memory serves, after he goes over the main facets and he teaches you that and teaches you how to gain your own experience and craft your resume, um, there at the very end, there's an alumni section where he go, the alumni make small videos that teach you how you should approach things going forward. Kind of like the mindset section, but instead of Seth saying things, it's people that already got a position and are coming back to um, give some guidance. And I also believe somewhere near that ending section, there's like, do you want a remote position? Do you want to do freelance? And things like that. Got it. All right. So let, let's get into some of the meat and potatoes of this is what people really want to hear. Um, so you kind of started it off when you were 16. Uh, you picked back up when you were around 18 or 19. And once you picked back up on the course, it took you, I think you said it took you two months uh, to land a job. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, it took two months. I was at the Wendy's for six months. And then the last two months, I got the job. No, I got the course. And then within those two months of having the course, I got the job. Got it. So two months, that's that's not too bad, definitely. Um, that's uh, especially considering like you're very young and, you know, you didn't have any experience before that in digital marketing. That's that's pretty, I'd say that's like really solid. Um, like a lot of boot camps out there, for instance, it takes like six to 18 months to get you a job. So two months is, that's really good. And I think that is a testament to, you know, Seth teaches you just what you need to know to get an entry level job. And a lot of the courses out there that I've seen, uh, not just with digital marketing, but with just things in general and specifically uh, teaching you the skill set that you would need to get a job, the huge mistake that they all make, and I, can't, I just can't believe they all do this, is they try to teach you everything. And if, if you try to teach somebody everything, they'll end up learning nothing, right? What, what courses should always do is teach you exactly what you need to know to land your first entry level job. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, I got my, my farm D, I'm a pharmacist, for instance, but I'm telling everybody, I learned 80% of what I needed to know by working, even as a pharmacist. That, that was my, my original profession. You know, even in the medical field where you absolutely have to go to school, you still learn 80% of what you need to know on the job. And so the big goal for everybody should be to just get work experience as fast as you possibly can. And that's what Seth's course focuses on. And that's why I, you know, that's why he gets phenomenal results. That's why he has thousands and thousands of testimonials, it seems, on his Instagram and, you know, these are all people that you can just look up on LinkedIn and ask them questions, which is, is exactly what I did when I was looking into the course um, and everybody's, you know, really happy with it. And uh, by the way, I should mention this before I forget it. Uh, Seth does have a free masterclass. You can check that out if you're interested in digital marketing. You want to see if it's right for you. If you go through his free masterclass, he's going to let you know uh, kind of like who's really good fit for digital marketing and lots of different information on the career of digital marketing, as well as the different subspecialties, et cetera. So check that out down below. I'll put it in the description as well as the pinned comment. Now, with that being said, let's get to the really good part here. This is what everybody wants to know. 
how much can you expect to make starting off as a digital marketer in your first job? It differs um, from state to state in America, but generally speaking, your first job, it's 50K. Somewhere in between maybe 40, maybe 60. Um, some places go a little lower, like 35k at the very very lowest and that's relatively rare but generally speaking especially nowadays where it's in demand 50k that's the general ballpark okay awesome and can you maybe speak on like after you've gotten your first entry-level job maybe you've got like a year of experience or so and then you either get a promotion at that job or you move on to another job can you kind of speak on maybe what the ballpark estimate for what they would be making is yeah so what i've heard um i personally i can't speak from experience yet but what i've heard is once you have your first job you should expect at least a 10k jump generally speaking it's 15 or something from 10 to 20k on your second job all right. So, uh, Chris, is there anything you want to either clarify or add? Do you think, is there something that might be helpful for people to know um, at the very end of this interview? Yeah. Um, at least for me specifically, um, you know, it might sound like things just miraculously happened where I took this course and then time passed and I got a job. But for me, I... I hesitate to say that that would be uh, possible um, unless I started doing what I did at 16 when I found out about the course. I started to meditate and I feel that gave me the, the mental means and the wherewithal to grind and learn these skills, um, get the job at Wendy's and surf it out without prematurely quitting and it just it made me a certain way that made it possible to do all of these things and make it all happen smoothly got it okay yeah that's a great point to mention like you know seth made a phenomenal course he's got a phenomenal community great network and you know if you go through the steps and you put the work in you know, there's a very, very good chance that you're going to have success and get a job. But at the same time, you've got to put the work in, you got to, you got to actually, you know, learn that skill set um, that is extremely valuable that a lot of companies are looking for. Um, and, you know, some people can do it very quickly. Uh, some people take more time to do it and that's fine. Some people, you know, work like just part time on it, you know, do, you know, five, 10 hours a week. Some people go all in, and try to finish it in one week um, and, and get the job as fast as possible. And, you know, it's self-paced, so you can go at your own pace. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely always have to put the work in. I mean, anything in life is like that, whether it's, you know, going to university, starting a business, anything's going to be like that. Um, and then you mentioned uh, meditation really helped you a lot when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, having the mindset of being able to to get things done as well um so that's definitely something to look into meditation has helped me a, a tremendously uh, in my life as well um, i noticed that my life just kind of falls apart when i'm not meditating and when i'm meditating things just miraculously work for whatever reason <laughs> so uh, meditation can be very very helpful as well so Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story today, Chris. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me.